is the CBS 42 Morning News. All right, welcome back, everybody. The time right now is coming up on 540, and we've got, well, 542, there we go. And we've got some scattered showers that are now showing up to the west of I-65 all across West Alabama. We're waking up to some rain this morning and some storms not too far away down to the southeast across portions of the Pine Belt in southeast Mississippi and some severe thunderstorm warnings up in the northern Louisiana. This is where the most favorable environment for severe storms will be today, and we've got a moderate risk of that, a level four out of five on the scale stretching from eastern Texas all the way over into western Mississippi and you see how the threat drops off as it moves into West Alabama. This doesn't mean that we're not going to see any severe storms. We'll have a pretty intense line of storms that passes through after midnight tonight and as the same system passes over to the east, that severe weather threat will go back up during the day tomorrow. So here is how it's going to be playing out. If you have plans during the day today, I think you'll be fine. I really think we'll just see spotty showers and a mix of clouds out there and that's really about it. The main severe weather during the day will be focused farther west. The storm should begin firing in the warm sector of the system, which means it'll be south of the warm front. And you see how these cells are popping up in North Mississippi, North Louisiana and West Mississippi. Those could be pretty strong and produce tornadoes. Then later tonight by around 8 p.m. it turns quasi linear, which means we'll have cells embedded within a line of storms. Those won't get into Alabama until after midnight tonight, crossing over from Mississippi and from 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning, they should be passing through the Birmingham Metro, likely producing 60 mile per hour winds to 70 mile per hour winds and some tornadoes are certainly going to be possible with this line of storms. Then it quickly exits the region by 9 a.m. And then during the day tomorrow, we should be just fine once the cold front passes through. Maybe a couple lingering showers into tomorrow night. And that's really about it. So high winds will be the main concern with this system. We've got a medium threat overall for tornadoes and large hail and not really worried about flooding because the system should be passing through relatively quickly. So we'll have to be weather alert overnight tonight. Make sure you have a no weather radio or our storm team weather app. Anything that will wake you up at night should a warning be issued. But then the first half of this upcoming week, overall going to be pretty quiet, cooler and drier overall. Those will be in the mid 40s, early Monday morning and early Tuesday morning. If we just have to get past tonight, then we'll be OK. OK, that's good to know. Thank you yeah. so much, Griffin.